all right guys so the clip to my concealing part kind of got lost so you guys want to make sure that your eyelids are primed and set and ready before any eyeshadow application so as you guys could see here i am just pressing that powder into my skin so i'm using my nyx ultimate eyeshadow palette today and i'm dipping into that orange shade i'm going to use that one as my transition color and i'm using a standard fluffy brush guys when you're using um, when you're going in with your transition color sorry you want to use a big fluffy brush and you're just going to want to use circular motions to kind of blend and pack that color onto your lid so as you guys can see i'm literally just going back and forth with my brush and i do dip into the palette just to get that color to really pop and show on my lids so now I'm taking a more tapered brush. As you guys can see, it's more pointed towards the tip of the brush. This is the brush that I'm going to be using on my in my crease, but I'm not taking it all the way inside. I'm just focusing it on the outer V of my crease. So as you guys can see, I'm literally using circular motions to just pack that color on the outer ends. And you just want to really use that circular motion to kind of diffuse it so as you guys could see here i do have the same transition brush and i'm going to basically blend those two colors together um, this just allows a perfect transition between the two so i'm going to show you right now um, basically the difference between blending and not blending so here you could see that that was really blended and diffused out this is not how you want it so you just want to go ahead and just blend it out and you can add a bit of eyeshadow the same transition color to that brush just so that it's an easier blend for you so it's pretty simple so now we're going in with our lid color and i'm taking a flat brush as you guys can see for your lids you always want to make sure it's flat and um here you could see that I'm just applying it to that open space on my lid and I'm literally just carving out my crease. Um, it's pretty simple. You can do the same look by cutting your crease, but if you already have a crease, you just follow your natural crease here as you guys can see and just apply that eyeshadow. Usually you wanna go in with shimmer shades for these kinds of looks. You can also use a matte shade a matte white shade, a matte, um, a matte, why am I like freezing here? Any type of light matte shade you would want to put onto you, that open space. So here I am just blending those two colors together. I'm kind of dipping back into that brown just so that those two colors can blend seamlessly together and I'm not doing much. I'm pretty much just brushing that on. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. These are the natural Ardell lashes. I actually didn't use these ones, but for those of you who do want a natural lash, I would recommend these. I had on my 701 Wispies, so these are what I have on now. So I applied some mascara, and now we're going to move on to the bottom portion of our eyes. And I'm just taking a flat brush. It's, I believe it's called a shader brush. And we're just going to apply that crease color to our bottom lash line and that's all i'm going to be doing we're going to apply some mascara and this is optional i decided to just add this in you can add a pop of um, inner highlight to your uh, duck what do you call it to your ducks and then as well as the arch of your brows but that is about it it is a super easy look guys i hope you guys learned from this video please give it a thumbs up leave your comments down below and i will see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys